Hey, what's up guys? It's Kevin here with Fandroid.com. We're at CES 2012 and we're taking a look at the LG Viper 4G. This is coming out on Sprint very soon. It's just announced and we're looking at a, an early production model of this. So some things might change with the phone, but this is a pretty good idea of what we're going to see. And so uh, we're just going to get a quick run through of some of the features and things to expect when this does hit shelves. Excellent. So my name is Brian with LG, field product trainer in the Northeast region, here to show you, uh, just as you said, the LG Viper 4G. Um, very exciting uh, time for LG and Sprint. Sprint's getting ready to roll out their uh, LTE-enabled network, and um, you know LG has definitely been on the forefront of LTE technology, which you've already seen today uh, at, uh, at CES with some of our other products from our other partners. Uh, but to, to, to talk about the, the Viper 4G, this is our first LTE-enabled handset at Sprint. A couple other things that are uh, worth noting. This is our first dual core handset at Sprint as well. It's a 1.2 gigahertz uh, uh, dual core processor. It's also, um, you know, capable of recording uh, full HD video as well as 720p video with the 5 megapixel camera on the back. You have a front-facing camera for self-portraits or anybody that's vain enough to just take uh, self-portraits or do video chat, whatever you want to do. Um, now it is a pure vanilla Android experience. Right now it is running Android Gingerbread, but it does have Sprint ID, which is the only overlay on it. So cu customers can download those packs to make it very, very easy, or they can customize the phone what they want it to be. Do we know of any plans for the ice cream sandwich update? That's going to be the big question. <laughs> yeah, I know. And, and unfortunately, I, there's, there's no information that I can share with you regarding ICS mm -hmm. 4.0 right now. Uh, because we're still very early in, in the development cycle because software on this is still subject to change, just even the minor firmware changes. Even the hardware on this is subject to change. Um, so, I mean, like he said, like you said, you're, you're getting a good idea of what it's going to be like and what it looks like right now. Uh, but things, things, I would imagine you won't see any drastic changes to the handset uh, makeup, uh, you know, as far as the, the, the hardware and what you're seeing here. Um, but uh, at some point, I would imagine any devices that we're creating right now uh, I, I think we could hopefully see ICS in the future. Um, and I know a lot of the viewers out there are want, wondering, why is an ICS out there right now? A lot, of the, a lot of it has to do with development time of a product. You know, just because you're seeing it now doesn't mean we ha we've, been, we've been developing this product for obviously more than one month. Uh, it, it, we've been developing this product probably more than four, five, six months for that matter. And ice cream sandwich only was just made available to the OEMs like LG last month. So our engineers are learning ICS right now and how it's going to impact uh, uh, updating all of our spectrum of devices, not to use one of our names of our phones, but essentially yes. Um, so our broad catalog of devices are all different in nature, you know. It's not a quick update where plug and play that you can just plug it in. They all have different kinds of processors and chips and and, and different compatibility issues, so it's definitely going to be a tedious process. And, and, and as you know, we're not the only ones that are dealing with it. You know, it's mm -hmm. also all of our competitors. So um, I just ask that they have patience, and it'll be there. But it does have the Sprint ID, so users that want a bit of more customization on their phones do have that option with the Sprint Correct. ID packs. Right, right. And then well, other things of worth noting is that this is this phone is uh, now correct. Uh, is it 100% recycled materials, or do we have a do we have a number on that, Erica? Uh, but most of the materials on the phone are recycled. So all the plastics on it are recycled plastics. So it's going to be very very eco friendly pro product, which is definitely uh, an, an, uh, an initiative that Sprint has been focusing on for several years now. Um, the display is a four-point inch display, but it does feature LG's proprietary Nova display technology, which does feature 700 nits of brightness. So when you're viewing this phone in, in uh, direct sunlight, you're going to see everything without a problem. So you could be at the beach, whether you're Ocean City, Maryland, or Daytona Beach down in Florida, in the middle of the summer, sun beating down on you, you're going to see what you're looking at, whether it's pictures, text, email, whatever it is that you're viewing. Very cool, and that's going to be one of the first phones on Sprint's new LTE network, which is pretty exciting right. for Sprint. So this is a big device for both Sprint and LG. Yes, absolutely. And we don't have a price on it. We don't have a, a, a date or time frame that we're looking at for launch uh, because you know not only is it subject to LG's final testing and approval, but it's also subject to Sprint's final testing and approval. All right. Well, that is a look at the LG Viper 4G. It's headed to Sprint in the near future. Um, Check that out when it's out. This is Kevin with Fandroid. Thanks for watching.